Welcome back to the stream. Let's grab myself a little drink. Zelda, you can't go wrong with Zelda. <laughs> Zelda sends chills down my spine. Oh. I kind of just want to listen to Zelda now. But. Valheim has a very good soundtrack, too. <laughs> I shall not disparage Valheim. They have very good soundtrack. But yes, we're we're returning to Valheim. Uh, I don't know how many of you are playing Valheim, but I um, Digital Foundry just released a video, and if you don't know who Digital Foundry are, uh, they are a YouTube channel and a website, and they do their own stuff. Um, but they analyze games and they like test settings and they test hardware for games and they tested Valheim and they put out their optimized settings and the cool thing is that any problems they tell you okay this is a currently a game problem or this is a setting you can change and the stuttering I was having with Valheim they said it's currently just a problem in the game, can't really do anything about it, but it seems like they mentioned that that's only when you have V-Sync on. Now I don't need to have V-Sync on, and I don't think it really affects the stream. I think. Because I have G-Sync, I don't know how G-Sync works with streaming, although I'm using also, uh, NVENC, which is the NVIDIA thing for streaming, essentially the encoder for streaming. So, I don't know if it, like, something on me? I feel like something was walking on me. Um, then, uh, anyway, not to say, I think I resolved the issue and I was able to pump up my settings up quite a bit and not have a an F FPS problem. So I'm just gonna bloop. Um this is actually display capture. I'm just gonna do game capture because it's a little bit better. There we go. And we're back with Joe Smithson and I probably need to change my change my there we go updated oh I like the new setup it makes it so much easier to update my <laughs> my stream info I oh, back in the day I, it used to be so hard having one monitor is so difficult when you have to change all these things on the fly really quickly <laughs> especially if you're like me and you forget to do it during the break having a second monitor really helps <laughs> also for reading chat and stuff like that oh all right let's jump right in now to contrast with the last game here is a game i really enjoy <laughs> and i'm really having a good time playing And also to show, you don't need to attempt to add, like, a super heavy dialogue-driven story for it to work or not work. Also, I was doing testing here. I close the top here because all these this fog actually loads up the computer a lot. So I, I did a lot of testing. And we're gonna be building... A little bit more house. So this is gonna be a building stream. Oh, 
Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want the boar to be angry at me. Nope. Could eat another bite. <laughs> eat another bite. Wait. Oh. Oh yeah, I need to press multiple times. Yeah, it's always interesting to try new games. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's falling towards me. Uh oh. It's always interesting to try new games and kind of see if... Oh, oh, hello, guys. There you go. And kind of see if, like, if you like, especially when it's something new. That's the hard thing, too. New IPs are so hard. New IPs are hard. Especially for when it comes from a bigger studio. Because big publishers, they won't give you a break. It's either swim or sink. There's no in between. <laughs> They'll just cancel you. Well, as you probably were, were able to see with, um, with, uh, Anthem, which just got cancelled right now, and so they're not even giving that a second chance. Uh, Anthem is done for. <laughs> it got completely cancelled. Uh, I may fall asleep and leave the stream up. Okay, thank you. Thank you, but don't, don't stay up later than you have to. I know, I know that you are busy. So don't, don't, no need to do anything crazy. But I do appreciate it. But I, I was hoping that they would fix Anthem. I kind of I love the idea of being Iron Man, <laughs> essentially. And so far, every single game that tries to let you be Iron Man fails. I'm looking at you, Avengers and Anthem. Both games that I want to I was looked at it and I was like, ooh, I want to be Iron Man, and both of them failed. And I just want to fly. Like that first Anthem video trailer, I was like, ooh, that looks fun. I get to fly like, fly like Iron Man. Gotta have, I get to have my own mech suit. And then it just didn't pan out. And it was such a bummer. I really wanted to fly. Like that's the best idea that game had going for it. And I just, I just wish the game had worked out. That's another game that I just like, ah, why didn't you work out? Is that pig angry at me? No, it's just that there's a baddie there. It's interesting the angles trees will appear in this game. Oh, my axe is almost broken. At least I do have quite a bit of wood. I just want these games to succeed, man. <laughs> it kind of—it's one of those things. It kind of just makes me a little bit sad. 
Because I want them to do well. But then they don't. <laughs> then I'm just sad. <laughs> uh, so Anthem kind of got shut down and... Uh, Out Outriders feels kind of generic. Like, I just want- I just want to have fun. That's what games are about. Having fun. <laughs> Feels like... It's harder and harder to find just fun. <laughs> Sorry for the downer episode today. Oh, here come enemies. Again, I think there is something in the code that the moment you start cutting stuff and doing stuff, enemies show up. Like, they, they get attracted by you gathering stuff. Because it happens every single time when I start cutting wood and whatnot. You found out you can have portals in this game? That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I love that. I love that there are so many things that people are discovering and figuring out. And it's like the big... <laughs> like, oh! It's like the beginning of Minecraft all over again. People discovering you can go to the nether for the first time and like... People were like, what is this? But... So... The one thing I didn't know about this game is that it's made with Unity. Which is awesome. We don't get too many games repping Unity. With like, such good effects and stuff like this very often. And I think that that's a great showcase. That people have a good option other than um, Unreal, which sadly has been marred in, you know, controversy. Epic in general has just been in controversy. Is that my body? Didn't know my body stayed. Oh, it disappeared. As long as you have another open portal somewhere and it's like fast travel. Oh, cool. Well, if I ever figure out how to do that, I can fast travel between my houses. And that would be really useful for me. I would really like that. Hey, Erica, guess what? Deforestation. I've killed so many trees in this new area now. that tree go? Look at all these stumps. <laughs> yes. Look, this was... It was actually tree up to like all these mini trees, and now it's all cleared. Oh, I should eat. Why do I always sit? Why do I always think sitting is eating? <laughs> Pepe hands. Oh, do I not have Pepe hands? Oh, do they, do they not have any more Pepe uh, emotes because it's racist or something? Or do I just not see it? I could just not be seeing it. But I thought I activated all those things. Oh, did you see the new the new Pog Champ? The official now like permanent new Pog Champ. I didn't know that they decided to stick with the permanent one now. I thought that they were gonna be doing like uh, you know rotating for a while, but they stopped rotating. Yeah. 
I have BTTV on, on my stream thing, but it's not showing. Oh, I'm out. I should have enough to keep building my house here. some more vertical ones on the sides and then go towards a more oh wow i need to fix a lot of this did it get so messed up look at this it's all super messed up Because it's not closed. It might be because it's not closed. It's cool. I actually really like how the materials get older and they become like you start getting to see more holes in between them. I think that, that that's pretty smart. I like that. That the less um, durability something has, the more it just kind of looks like it's rickety and broken. Because it is. <laughs> it is. So, I think that's pretty cool how they did that. Look, all my floor is messed up. Why am I even doing this? I could do this after I'm done with building. But you know me, I just, sometimes, just being too much of a perfectionist, I guess. But yes, we're gonna finish building house number two here. Hopefully, yeah. I think it should hold two without complaining too much. Sometimes it's so precise. Nope. Should have just done one side at once. There we go. So yes, I am, you probably guessed it, I am making a longhouse. Gonna get in the viking mood. Doing longhouses. fix so it's not you know just a big square of nothing i'll put windows in and so on but i just want to build a structure right now and that's one thing i really like and i've mentioned this before i like that it kind of keeps all of the materials you use so if you take it down you don't have to worry about it. Mm, mm, it's not gonna match <sighs> God. 
Symmetry, Steinman. Symmetry. If you know what I'm referencing right now, you get points. You get Rod's points. If you know what game I, I was just referencing. Symmetry. Floating, but it's fine. <sighs> Asymmetry. This is the root of all problems. Quote me. Quote me. Witness me. I watched not, recently. I, I rewatched. Um, That movie, uh, Mad Max Fury Road, and oh, what a movie! It continues being one of my favorite movies of all time, because oh man, that that's a movie. Okay, so I'm hoping by doing this, the ceiling will fall. I don't have to unbuild it myself. <laughs> what? How <laughs> was it holding? There we go. Oh, look at all that wood. Symmetry. I think I might like that. That might be a cool style for the house. Just a start at one on the sides. That is what I'm gonna do. Let me get this wood that's out here. I do love the amount of space they give you. Like, it, it's a good amount of space that they give you to build. Alright. Perfect. Now, some of you might be looking at me saying, Rods, you just destroyed everything you did. Are you insane? And to that I say yes. That's, kids, that's why we have two workbenches. <laughs> if one doesn't work, the other one will. All right. Just a good time. You can relax. Just have a jolly old time. So jolly. Okay. Do this at my angle. It's getting a 
little bit too dark for me. Oh yeah, small thing I, I want them to fix. I can't hold a hammer. And a torch at the same time. My torch broke. <laughs> and at night, it becomes very hard to see. That's another thing I'd like them to do. Add a ga uh, gamma setting so that I can make it brighter. Because <laughs> at night, I can't see, so I have to wait till the morning. And hope that my house has not been destroyed by that point. Day 32. We've been over a month in this wilderness. I hope it's not never too dark for you guys watching. That would be a bummer. It's still too dark for me to work. But I guess it works. There we go. Put it right there. There we go. I should build up some more wall here. So right there, what I'm gonna do, right above here, I'm actually gonna put the cool X, just cause it's cool. Boom, and I'm not gonna close it. I'm actually just gonna keep it like that. Wait, does the X have an inside and outside? No, all right. Just gonna have a cool X in the middle. Cause X marks the spot. gonna hold this is the one I'm curious if it holds we're fine There's a stray piece of wood. Okay. I'll fix it. I'm not gonna jump like a weird dude. The entire time. Alright. I think I still have a lot of wood. But look at all the smoke. Number one. Ladder. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Break, break. I'll probably still need a ladder to finish building this. build one more 45 degree and then I'm gonna go to 26 degree there we go so just on this side on the other side I'm done with 45s I'm gonna go to 26 there we go. and it's good thing that we know it holds we don't have to worry Rumbling. 
under its own weight. There we go. Uh oh. It's asymmetrical. for a second. We can get rid of oh no, there's a piece of wood up there. Oh my god. So I don't want to put two X's. Can I put one in the middle? <laughs> um I guess I'll put two X's. Whatever. I'm gonna be the double X house. Hey that doesn't look too bad. I kinda like that. Um. Alright. Now I, I do need a way to get up top so I can start. start putting 26s. A boom. 26 there. Well. 26 there. Then 26 there. 26 there. And then we close it with the X. Now this, we're actually going to leave that open. Because it will be our smoke escape. You know what? All those pieces of wood. They're gonna stay in there. Okay. Okay. We're okay. Boom. We're still gonna put the X. Boom. This is smarter engineering. Boom. Boom. Now the tippy top is open, so okay, how much health do I have? Not enough. Okay. Because I want those woods! Okay, that didn't Oh, I almost died. I don't need to get closer. green. Interesting. So are you telling me that if I put these right here it will make I think improve the top ones. I think I need to add a post there. I 
I know that a lot of like the Viking style house. I'm actually gonna remove these because they seem unnecessary. I know that a lot of the houses that had kind of this shape, they do have pillars inside. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Where did all my wood go? Staying on the roof. <laughs> oh, the problems. No, oh, you're good. You're good. It's all on the roof. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, it's just my house number two. Just house number two. I'm still gonna furnish it and add a bunch of things. Um, but right now I'm just trying to make it structurally sound. I think. I think that might be too central. So I'm gonna. There we go. Yes. Wait. It holds. No way. Oh well, I guess I can undo some of my some of my weird ladders. There we go. I think the pillars seem to be the most reliable way, yeah. It seems to work. It seems to work out. I can't... I can't complain. It seems like... Most of the... Why are these just orange, but these are red? I'm confused. They're the exact same thing. Alright, I need to get some more wood. By the way, the deforestation here has been real. We have just been cutting trees down and not planting any of them back. It's falling on me! No! No, I didn't mean to do that. I got saved by whatever- by that tree. I got saved by a tree there. <laughs> I was about to die. Oh, hello, baddie. Hello. Bread? Adding crafting's added some on a pillar and put stuff on that. More baddies. Screw you guys. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So, for adding crafting station upgrades, I added some 1x1 one one floors on a pillar, pillar, 
and put stuff on that. Looks pretty stupid to have a grindstone and anvil on the shelf, though. I see. So, like, you just save a lot of floor space by doing that. Though. So it's smart in that regard. Is that what... Hello! We have a guest! Can they see me? Yeah. Hello! Hello! So this is Ash. Hi everyone. I'll pretend like your adopted sister, but that's more complicated than that, but... <laughs> Who's watching? Uh, we have Kylie. You're supposed oh, oh. to be doing homework. <laughs> hey, Ash. That's Kylie. There's so many places to look. It's so confusing. And... And then we have Matthew, okay. and then you have Ark, which I don't think you know. Oh, she finished it? Yeah. Okay, oh, that's good. Were you having anything peanut buttery? I was eating Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. <laughs> I was stealing from Mom's stash. I was like, hmm, I smell the peanut butter. Yeah. How have you been? I've been pretty good. I was hanging out with some friends. And then, yeah, and so I was gonna go back to school. But then I was like, that's paying tolls. And then <laughs> <laughs> that's more gas. I'm like, I was gonna go home and fill my gas in New Jersey. Mm hmm. So I came back home. Yeah, no, it was just a lot easier. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, you be home. You don't feel the more. That's awesome, though. It's the weirdest thing because the people I were hanging out with were people from young adults. Mm hmm. And they're both like 22. I've never felt so young in my life. <laughs> because they're just like, oh my goodness, you're so young. You're 18. And I was like, like what? And then, <laughs> and that's then funny. About their real jobs and like all that kind of stuff. I'm like, you're literally like not even three and a half years older than me. <laughs> so no, it's funny when people do that. Yeah, and I was just like, like that was literally like the age of my boyfriend. And then I have a friend who's 24. I didn't even know he was 24. And I was like, Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, many, some people just like are super chill with their age yeah, and I mean, you can't even tell. Yeah, literally. Especially in college, like it's hard to tell because like sometimes like someone who's like older will be like a sophomore. So mm -hmm. you think they're younger and they're like, oh. But it's like, I don't know, I feel like it's chill unless they make it weird. They're making it weird and I was like, okay. Yeah. No, I feel like the older you get to, the less people usually make it weird because the less it matters. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, I died. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. Right I will not ruin the stream. No, you're good. But it's good to Don't see you. Don't upset the fan. <laughs> I'm sure no one's upset. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking to us anymore. Oh, is this the survival game you're playing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've just really been enjoying it. Oh no, there's a boar in my house. Get him! Get him! I only have my punch. I think the board. Oh wow. That's a strong punch. Hello, Owie. And that's Owie. Hi. Has a lot of owl emotes. Oh, very nice, very nice. Love the owl. There's my body. He died. You're wet. Chicken. No longer feel rested. <laughs> and dead. Sad chicken. I don't know why it's not showing- so it's an emote. There's an oh, emote that's a sad chicken. I was like, that's an interesting <laughs> It- But it's not showing for some reason. Even though I have- Speaking of owls. Yeah, I know. I got this for Wait, Valentine's Day. Do you YouTube thing? Yeah, do I. <laughs> got a little chocolate owl. I don't want to eat this. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Yeah, like- Cute things like that, you don't want to eat. You feel a little guilty. Mm -hmm. You're gonna like, like, be eating the heart of the fish, so it's like, <laughs> not really good. We used to have these little turtles that you could eat, and it was always like, oh no, I'm gonna have to eat the head of it. Oh, and it's just yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> so animal shaped foods are not great. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the generic bunny, I feel less guilty. Mm. But yeah, the cute. I can't believe Easter's food. I know. There's so much Easter stuff in Bath and It's gonna. It's gonna be a year soon since I've been living here. That's crazy. This year has like been like went by so quick, but it's been like so full. It's really weird. You guys want me to eat it? It's a BTTV emote, but I, I have BTTV on on 
whatever it's called on uh, OBS. Has Bath and Body Works been crazy? Uh, it was pretty busy today, but um, it was honestly the last time we were really busy was right before Valentine's Day. It was like the Saturday before, and like all the boyfriends and husbands were coming in. <laughs> we think of our wife like this end. You gotta love that. <laughs> it's the last minute buying yeah. of all the. And literally just like take whatever. So our sellers were having fun getting them to buy everything. Um, uh oh. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, uh, today was decently busy, but a lot of our Easter stuff hasn't sold too much yet. It's still a ways away. But there's some really good fragrances for Easter. It's like a lemon cake pop candle. It smells... Mm, okay. Nice. I've, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's kind of just like a nice mix between like lemon and like a sweet kind of like cake type fragrance. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice balance. I feel like lemon by itself is like kind of generic, but like everyone's like very used to like the birthday cake kind of cake smells so when you combine it together it's like like it's like sweet and fresh mm -hmm. so hmm. bath and body works i think i have 11 cake pop. <laughs> no promo not sponsored needs to be added to the chat oh okay also it was not shared i made it Shared. Oh, okay. So the, are the all the chicken ones yours? I never knew if like you got all the chicken emotes from a channel or if you. <laughs> Matthew says, "Dude, eating the bunny's head was my favorite part of Easter." <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Maybe that should be. Your emotes, a bunch of chocolate. <laughs> I feel like there must be a channel that already has that. You uh, could do a little bomber, man. Little, little bob bombs. Oh, someone tried to get me to oh. crochet them a, a sleeping bag. A f like, real size sleeping bag? A real size sleeping bag. That's and crazy. There was. I was I saw this post somewhere I forget where it was, but it was this person who bought this massive uh, blanket on Etsy mm -hmm. that was supposed to be like the really thick, oh, uh, just like how you had like the yeah really yeah thick. uh huh the braided knotted mm -hmm. thing yeah. But when it came, it was like this size, and <laughs> they just took a picture of it on their dog. But on the picture of the thing, it was like covering their whole full-size bed oh <laughs> so goodness. it was just like a scam and just like oh it you know so it fits on the dog <laughs> but yeah those blankets are kind of time consuming but it's like that's your job mm -hmm. yeah if you're selling that <laughs> just scam it. it's so sad that there's so many scams like that Chicken Thonk, which is a thinking chicken, is on his channel. And then others are from Emmy, who I do not know. But most are made by you, so I didn't know that. I thought they were just emotes that you found. A lot of people have their their own emotes. You gotta make them. I know. Mine are <laughs> kinda jank. I feel like that could be a cute emote, a bomber man in the gold cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool cup yeah. of bomber. I like how he sits yeah, with I his little that's legs. Cute. I should put my little bob bomb on okay. top. <laughs> You're trying to mess with the decoration of the stream. Oh, I don't have. I'm, I'm naked! Okay. Got it. When you're doing. There we go. Alright, do I have enough wood? I'm just gathering wood to build. I feel like I haven't gotten any wood. 
kind of just walking around. Uh, what, what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm building a house, which you can see there in the right. distance. Mm -hmm. And it's taking a while. <laughs> but it's just because I'm trying to move to new areas, so I'm kind of building a base in this area now. Mm. Just so I can store myself and not have to walk like, halfway through the world. But I decided to make it really big, and now I'm having to yeah. do a lot of <laughs> cutting and stuff. Mm -hmm. And every time you cut something in this game, a bunch of enemies show up, so... The music is really relaxed. I know you can't hear it, but... It's one of the... I don't need the steps on this side anymore. I'm gonna put it on that side. And I'm gonna... Oh yeah, I was making pillars. That's what I was doing. Does your house have to be wooden? Is there other options? Or... So, I still only have... I still only have the ability to do wood. Is it like you have to find certain stuff? Or do you just like upgrade? You, you have to find certain things that... You need special material for it. But it's the type of thing that you find it, and then it kind of sh gives you all the options of what you can build. So here, like, it shows me everything I can build. If I learn new things, it'll be like, hey, you can do this now. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but I have to upgrade my workbench to be able to do them. Mm -hmm. and each of these are, like, an upgrade. So if, I think if I mine metal, maybe I'll have, like, stuff I can do with metal. But they do have metal and stone, but I'm pretty early on in, like, the building, I feel. But I'm just going with the Viking aesthetic. Mm. Kind of making a... little Viking house. I know. I it's I really like that it actually does smoke simulation and you can choke if there's too much smoke. Oh interesting. So it's like you that's something you have to be worried about. That's why I left kind of a little opening. But I that's why here I'm gonna be leaving a lot of openings, like at the tip, because it's gonna go up and then it can oh, escape on the sides. Okay. But I just need to grab some weird. What time is it? 11.22, okay. Spring break is next week. Or the week after this week. Are you getting like a proper spring break? I get, yeah, I have a normal spring break. Okay. I know a lot of people don't have it. Yeah, no, a lot of people are just like... Wait, is Kylie watching the streams? Uh, I don't know. Kylie, are you still there? Kylie, if you're there, do you have a spring break? I don't think she does. I think she's just getting like, like a couple reading days. I think that's what they said yesterday. Mm. They just keep working. It's interesting. A lot of students don't really have a lot of midterms, but for some of the classes that I have this time, I have a good amount of midterms and project. Mm. Yeah, it's, it really varies from semester to semester, yeah. I think. You'll probably start seeing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But you're almost done with your first year of college, too. It feels like it's been so fast. Yeah. 2020 and now 2021 have just flown by. Yeah, I don't know. I always say there's always opportunities to do more, which is cool. Um, I got, like, um, someone... They didn't volunteer me. They recommended me to be a student mentor. Mm -hmm. So essentially, I hate incoming freshmen. Oh, that's fun. It's like, do you do anything with orientation or not no, really? No, not even. Like, I just have to meet with them once a week. And so, I mean, you only get paid like you only get paid when you're like with them. Mm -hmm. So I just get like, you know, like paid for like the hour I spend with the student each week. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you meet one on one. Yeah. So you're oh, interesting. Person. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard of that. Yeah, no, it's an interesting 
It was beautiful. And then, uh, one of my friends is in the honor society. Mm -hmm. And it's weird because, like, there's a lot more requirements to get in when you, like, from high school, but if when you get in from college, you just need to have a 3.7. Oh, really? Yeah, that's kind of hmm. weird. And you get extra scholarship. I tried to. And hey, getting and extra then, scholarships. Yeah, yeah, especially for the super expensive college life. Mm -hmm. I feel like people want to go out all the time. And I'm going out so expensive. Yeah, no, it really is. My bank account is crap. Just gotta become the, the super hermit. Mm -mm. Just never go out, everyone's going out, you just hiss at them. Oh, yeah. Like sunlight is. I'll get there sometime. <laughs> oh. Oh, it is really smooth. Yeah, it's really getting smoky in here. Maybe if I jump here, I can put some in my lungs. <laughs> Get the on. This looks like a nice barn. Yeah, it definitely is giving me barn vibes. Like or bougie barn vibes, you yeah. know, like the barn that a wedding would be in. Mmm. A lot of people want to get married in the barn. I don't really understand. <laughs> Barn wedding. It's because, you know, they like that feeling of being around animals. They want to be the animals. It's like the, 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 uh, like, 2.0 version of, like, the nativity. Like, <laughs> <barn>. <laughs> It'd be really funny if for that people were dressing up like cows oh. and, like, the just barnyard animals. Yeah, just have the rain bear be a cow and the flower girls be a sheep. I think that'd be great and very interesting. <laughs> That would be really funny. I'd want to see a wedding like that. If you ever get married. I would not be in a barn. That's funny. <laughs> there we go. It's done. Yay. And it gets Yay. nice sunlight. Oh, now hopefully it's not going to rot. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do like the classic biking thing of putting a fire pit right in the middle. Ooh. And then I was hoping to like put tables around it and make that like the cool mm -hmm. Viking longhouse, but they don't, they don't really have tables <laughs> in this game right now. At least I don't think, not that I can build. Is it a game like Minecraft where it's always updating? Yeah. Or... Mm -hmm. So they. This game released like three weeks ago. Oh, really? So, yeah. It's a new game. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new game, so. They're still looking into like what to do and stuff like that, so it's it really is brand new, okay. which is really cool. And is uh -oh. it, what distinguishes it from like is a typical like you know build your house survive? So this one actually has things for you to do. It's not just like oh build and you know explore. It actually has objectives like bosses and stuff that you you're building towards. So here I went I came to this new area that's called the Black Forest, but even though I'm in kind of an opening right now. But because I went to the here little oh, oh, oh they're baddies. Okay, so So here you start I started here, built my first house here, and this was the first boss. It was like in the meadowy area, which is like this lighter green. Here in the darker forest, it's kinda of like a different biome. Mm -hmm. And it has its own boss somewhere. Okay. So you're kind of discovering where it is, exploring. So you're exploring with like a purpose in this, essentially, because you want to find not just cool new stuff, which you also want to find, but mm -hmm. you also want to find where the boss is and kind of like ways to defeat it. And it seems, from what I understand, all the bosses are kind of like different. So you need okay. to use different strategies to kind of get them. That's cool. And like, just from playing, the Black Forest has giants too, so like sometimes you'll see these massive guys just walking around and you know, which you don't see but so there's always like something new in all these mm -hmm. biomes, mm -hmm. which seems really cool yeah. uh, but I know that Ark has played like a lot of this game already, so she knows all the secrets well maybe not all but many of the secrets 
So it's always helpful when he's around because I'm like, I don't know what this is. He's like, yep, that's the thing. Does he also stream? Uh, he does stream sometimes, but I don't think he's been streaming usually recently. But I know that he does stream. The foundation. <laughs> it's kind of floating. I'm kind of gonna build like a little porch or something here in the front just so it makes it easier for getting on. But. Alright. Good talking to you. Have a good night. Bye, Ash. By the way, she made this for Bob. -omb. gonna be super extra here. I'm gonna put two fires just cuz. <laughs> Interesting. So no okay it's not. I was gonna say it kind of like seems like it's pushing they're pushing each other away. But they're not. Yeah, I, I want to be able to learn how to build more furniture so that I can furnish. It's too bad I can't place these on walls. I want to have walls thingies. Right, I'm actually going to move my bed and everything out of here because I want this to be a storage room. So I'm going to keep this back room as a storage room. And I'm going to have this front area as my... You will have wall torches? Yeah. I, I just don't know how to advance my my workbench bench any further so that I can build new things. I've been trying to figure that out for a while, but... Oh, my flint is somewhere else. Uh, Erica came through and, and mentioned that I can I'll be able to build portals at some point and I'm actually kind of excited for that just for the fact that I want to be able to um, I want to be able to just go between my houses because I have so many things in each of them Ah! <laughs> Always happens. Alright. I'm gonna have my, my bet right here. I can destroy my previous bed. I can destroy this fire. There is a limitation to po portals. I think workbench is not the primary way to increase in tech. Interesting. I don't know if that's something I want to know or that I will discover as I play or advance in bosses, or maybe I need to do some dungeons, which I haven't done any yet. Maybe that's a thing I should be thinking about doing, especially since I built a house right next to a dungeon. <laughs> So, and now I can actually destroy this as well. Um, wait, I'm looking forward to be able to build more furniture and stuff like that. I have never played, again, I've mentioned many times, not a bit really, uh, the materials can't be taken through them. Oh, interesting. Uh, 
Um, interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. I know I don't think I need more space for any of these. Wood here. I have leather over here. I do have some flint, but it's not too much. This as I do hope they make bigger, bigger uh, chests a thing. Um, did I put all my wood in the thing? Yes, I did. All right, out goes over there. Sure, I'll put leather here. Um. That is a very interesting limitation, though I wouldn't have thought. I'm kind of curious how it is that I'm going to advance my my tech. So actually, I might try to do that. That might be the last thing I do today. So I'm actually not going to take many things, but I'm going to try a dungeon. Uh, one thing I do know that I need for dungeons is a torch. I'm going to take an extra torch. I should probably make more arrows. Uh, I'm not going to take that. I'm definitely not taking wood with me. Uh, food. Arrows. Um... Honestly, I'm probably not going to take my iron arrows. I'm just going to make some more wood arrows. Um, and... Not not going to take a hoe. I'm going to have my, my stuff here. I'm going to take a hoe. Probably don't need to take a hammer. I'll keep, keep my pickaxe and stuff, because that's okay. And then food, it's always good to have food, but I never eat mushrooms. Eh, it might be good to have mushrooms. Man, I love how this game hits. Can I not repair clothes? I thought I could repair clothes. I need leather to repair clothes? I don't remember needing. I think I'm fine. How's my system working? Yes! It works! And then in any emergency, boom! These will work. But that, it shouldn't. Yes. Yes! I don't see any of it. But yes. Oh, I should probably make some. But, all right. I'm gonna, ah, stupid boar, get out of here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the... The dungeon. And I don't know if there's like a higher difficulty to dungeons if I, if, if I'm in a, another area. I should probably also move my torches over. If I'm in, like, a higher difficulty area like I am in right now. Oh, mushroom. Because I know I am in a harder area. Oh! Skelly boy! Skelly boy! Okay. Ooh. 
This is interesting. This is very claustrophobic. This is very claustrophobic. Scaly boy. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, I should probably use this. Ooh! What is this? Evil bone pile. Is, is that a spawner for skelly boys? That's my guess. My guess is that that's skelly boy spawner. Ruby. Okay. Circling core. I have no idea what these things are. Did I get to the end of the... Did I just get to the end of this dungeon? <laughs> it's a bone pile. That's evil. Coins. Oh. Thank you, Ark. That is important information. Now I'm just, <laughs> for some reason now I'm just imagining, wait, oh, a light. Everyone having like a Skeletor voice. Just everyone. Ooh, this has nice little gemmy gems on the wall. Figure out what I can do with the. Uh oh, I hear Skelly boys. I heard the bones are shifting. What is this? Oh, I hear the bones are shifting. Once again, did I leave anything? Oh, I left a cube. Give me your cube. sounds. I don't know if they put the sounds there to scare me or if they're actual things that, you know, are around. Because sometimes they put, a lot of people put sounds just to be kind of around you. Ooh, claustrophobia room. Level two? Oh no, okay. Okay, so did dungeons don't seem to be that hard. I hope I don't you know, I have to eat my own words. Skelly boy. Empty. These yellow mushes. No. Uh oh. Multiple skellies. I'm not even blocking. I'm just going. <laughs> That's how we do. We don't block. We don't stop. We go. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> the game we were playing earlier today, Outriders. Right at the beginning, they're like, if you want to live and survive, you have to be aggressive. The only way to gain health is being aggressive. The only way to live in the, on Earth and... No, they didn't say that. The only way to live and be alive is being aggressive. Aggressiveness wins life. Or something like that. I was like, oh. Good to know. Hello? Skelly boy? Hello? Skelly boy? Huh. Okay, it doesn't seem like these chests have many... That door just opened on its own. It's kind of creepy. Oh, this was no door.
Ooh. Surprise Skelly Boy. Skelly Boy? Dead end. I wonder if any of these dead ends are fake dead ends, you know? Like, like the Dark Souls thing. Where there's totally something there, but you just don't get to see it. You have to hit it. Is that it? Does it reset after I leave? You lose your wall ahead, and then you try it for 20 minutes, and there's nothing there. And then you see a little bit farther ahead, fool ahead. That was easy. <sighs> the dungeons don't really reset from what I've seen. Yellow mushrooms grow back. Well, I'm gonna figure out what I can do with the yellow mush. So, yeah, okay, so that was a little bit underwhelming. Oh, the house actually looks really cool, coming in from the distance. That's fun. Oh no, boar. I don't want to kill you, boar. <laughs> Alright. So, let's see. Oh yeah. I need to upgrade the thing. So I, I didn't need to be nearly as concerned as I as I was. There we go. So discovering just new items ten, seems to be the the way to do it. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm just gonna play around with the hammer here. Let's see what we have. Oh. Oh. Oh, so they're not. Oh. Need a bunch of stone, essentially. How much sulfuring core? Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna have to do another dungeon. Okay. Okay, now oh, that's doable. Interesting, though. That has opened my eyes to so many possibilities. Get rid of the stuff that I know is generic, and I don't. I have a lot of bones now. I know the bones are a good thing. All right, so um, six. I don't know which one I should build. This one seems to be- whoa! I guess I build this outside? <laughs> okay. I shall build my kiln! Here. Yeah. That is the front of my kiln. <laughs> Is this the front? Yes, I think that is the front of my kill. Missing requirement. Ah, oh, it needs to be near a workbench. Okay, so what I can do is actually build it here. Okay, I'm gonna clear some space. see anything. This kiln is massive. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm actually gonna build right here. Build a kiln. Bam! 
Alright, what can I do with said kiln? Okay. Okay. What did that do? What was that? Is that all this does? Is that just a glory? It should have should have built a smelter. Please tell me I get my uh, stuff back. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> number two. Attempt number two. Building a smelter. Ah! Okay. Well, Matt, have you, you have built a smelter. Deposit your raw ore in a furnace and it will melt away all the impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined metal to work at the forge. You will need coal to fuel the smelter. This can be produced by building a kiln, loading it with wood. Oh. Thanks, Huggy. No problem! Alright. Is that gold? No, it's dandelion. Okay. I see how all this works now. Well, so I guess I will be on my... Did I just improve jumping? I guess I'll be on my quest to... Um... What's the word? To go back to the other dungeon. So that I may build a kiln and smelt things. Now I'm building a porch. So I can easily move around the house to my kiln. Also, I should probably build support here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All of this guy's movements really makes me think of the Olympics. <laughs> it really does. flatten this so that it doesn't have grass going through it. Perfectionist things. There we go. Boom. Perfect. And here I'm gonna do stairs. This house eventually is going to be really cool. This one had a lot more aspiration to it than the last one. Because the last one was the one I was learning how to play the game on. So, there we go. It was perfect, except that I can't... Okay, guess who's going to make the ground a little bit higher? That's me. Hey, there we go. Alright, so that's probably going to be it for me today. We explored their first dungeon. Our system works beautifully. We were able to figure out better settings for the game. And...
and yeah, it's looking good. We got a cool house that can be kind of a more major hub. Maybe if I have a teleporter, this can also function as a teleporter room. Who knows? But next time, next time, what I will do, next house I build, because I know inevitably I'm going to have to new move to a new biome and build a new house there. Uh, I'm going to make one just like the that town that you build in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to make it so that it looks very boxy and modern. So I'm just attempting all the different styles. That is what I want. Okay, and I'm gonna... Don't give me a nun on the workbench. Yeah, don't give me a nun on the workbench. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Give it a good support. There we go. That looks good. So that is going to be it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed a little bit more of Valheim. Hope you enjoyed some of Outriders earlier today. I know I, I kind of <laughs> attacked the game furiously, but it just really isn't a game for me. And I don't know, it just, it, it didn't feel like it was very good. But again, I would say this over and over. This is never meant to be an attack on the developers or the people who are making these things. It really is just a critique of the final product, not of the people behind them or anything like that. Because I want to see, honestly, if I'm playing a game on stream, it's probably because I want to like it or I like it. So. I don't know. Just wished it was a little bit better. That's all. <laughs> all right. So thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic Sunday, and I will be back on Monday. So we'll see you all very soon. Let me go back to the menu music, which I very much love. Yeah. So that. A little bit more of Valheim. Hope you, you all enjoyed it. I'm actually really enjoying Valheim. It it is a slow slower pace. I feel like I want to build more than I'm able right now, but I'm just at the same time I'm I've been very focused on a building this house. I haven't spent I don't spend too much time with the game, so it's not like I. I'm actually having time to explore all these different sides, but it was good to explore some of the... Some of the dungeon side of this game a little bit, but... I'll say this, I am actually really excited... To see how this game continues to change and evolve and what they add. Because... It is great and I am loving it, but I feel like there's still a lot to add and still a lot to change and tweak and improve and it has been a it has been just a fun a fun game but at the same time it feels a little bit restrictive in some ways and again i don't know if it's because of the way i'm playing and how much i've been playing or if it's just that the game kind of you know doesn't quite have a, a rhythm and a pace that it kind of have it has it very well set and honestly that doesn't matter because it, it, that's going to vary so much from player to player right now i'm having fun with this game and i think that it's it's just a blast to go through and kind of just even just building the house I, I enjoy that but i again like i've mentioned before i like that i'm doing that but i'm doing it with a purpose i want to be the boss i have a hard time doing any of these things when i don't have a purpose when it's the purpose is just survive or just explore so i like having a purpose and clearly it pushes me through a game like this and not like a oh like a, a difficult push but a very pleasurable and kind of a push <laughs> yes yeah anyway so those are my current thoughts on the game just 
very briefly. And I hope everyone that's been playing Valheim, I hope you've been enjoying Valheim. And while not today, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on it a little bit more. I'd be very curious to see what different people are thinking about it. But yeah. Hope you all have, once again, a great Sunday and a great Monday, and I will see you then. Have a good night, or a good day, depending on where you are, and yeah, I'll see you then.